Hi guys, so today I'm just going to go through this question with you step by step and taking you through, I suppose, how to read the question carefully, how to um, mark in any bits of information that were given into the diagram. Uh, there is not always a diagram given with these questions, so it's good practice to draw a diagram if you don't um, have one with the question. So. Uh, like everything, obviously we've been doing calculus at the moment, so this question is going to use those skills, but it actually doesn't use the skills until later on. So we'll have a read first and see what they're asking. In the given right angle triangle, so when we're thinking about right angle triangles, a lot of things should come to mind, okay? Uh, but one of those things might be Pythagoras' theorem, okay? Uh, so just something to be aware of when we're dealing with right angle triangles like that. All of that prior knowledge, and I know we've yet to do a bit of trigonometry, but all of that is still relevant. Okay, so here we've got uh, the symbol for uh, a line segment, AB and BC. Uh, vary such that their sum is 12 centimetres. So that word there is super important. So the line from A to B, if I was to draw that in blue, and the line B to C, their sum equals 12. If the length A to B is X centimetres, write in terms of X the length of BC. So in terms of X means I want X in my answer. So I know that this line here plus this line here is equal to 12. I've been told that that is X centimetres. I'm going to refer to this unknown. I don't know what it is. So it's an unknown and I'm going to refer to this unknown. You can call it CB, but I'm going to call it Y. So uh, if I was to write that in an equation, I would say X plus Y is equal to 12. Now, I want to find what is the length of this in terms of x, which means I'm looking to find this length, which means I'm looking to find y, which means I want y on one side, everything else on the other. So I'm going to minus x on both sides, and I'm going to get y is equal to 12 minus x. So that's how I'm going to refer to this now. Uh, and I've done it in terms of x, which means I have x in my answer. So I might rub out the y there, and I'm now going to call this 12 minus x. Okay, so that's our first part done. Our second part then, express the area of a triangle in the form of a equals fx. So a is the area. So area of a triangle, um, we learned it back in first year, I would imagine, and possibly even in primary school, area of a triangle is base times perpendicular height all over two. So imagine something that we learned in primary school could potentially come up in our leaving cert. Uh, I suppose it just tells you what type of a journey mathematics is. So base times perpendicular height. Now your perpendicular height is always at the 90 degree angle. Okay, so our perpendicular height there is x and our base is this one here, which is 12 minus x. So that is 12 minus x times x all divided by 2. Okay, I've got a little bit of work to do here. So I'm going to work out the top of uh, this fraction here. I'm going to work out x by 12 gives me 12x and x by minus x gives me minus x squared all over 2. And we can break that down a little bit more uh, is we can write this. We're going to divide both of these by 2. So that's going to give me 6x minus. Remember that number there is 1. So if I was divided by 2, it would be 1 half x squared. Now you can leave it like this. All right. Don't think there's any, any harm in that. But I just like to break it down that step further. So express the area in the form of area is equal to. So this is what I'm telling you the area of this triangle is equal to. Now, for what value of x is the area of the triangle maximum? So when we see part three, when we see the word maximum or minimum, we are going to introduce our skills on calculus. So to find the maximum, we follow our simple steps. So step one is take the equation and differentiate. So um, we're going to differentiate that with respect to x and again this is equal to the area so to differentiate it it would be 
differentiate the area. So da dx is equal to. So when I differentiate anything with an x, I just simply lose the number. Minus, um, I'm going to bring the power down. So 2 times 1 half times x. And 2 multiplied by a half is going to give me 1. So just to final it off, finalize it off or just clean it up a little bit, I basically have 6 minus 1x. Now, we are going to find a value for x. So we are going to let this equal 0. So I'm going to have minus 1x equals minus 6. x is equal to 6. And once I have that value, I'm telling myself, right, well, the maximum value that x can be is 6. So let's see what the maximum area is. My formula for area, I worked it out here, was 6x minus 1 half x squared. So let's work that out. If x is equal to 6, it's going to be 6 times 6 minus 1 half 6 to be squared. So 36 minus a half of 36. So 36 minus 18, I think. And then if we subtract those, I should get 18. And this is centimeters squared. That is the most area that that triangle can be if the highest point or if the x value is 6.